In today's Apple Numbers spreadsheet demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use the divide formula within the spreadsheet. Now here we have a very basic sales spreadsheet and we want to work out the profit per day for each month. But first what I'll do is show you how to do a basic divide formula here on the side. So in any cell where you want to do a divide formula, you press the equals key, this will bring up the function box and you want to select any number within a spreadsheet. So here we'll select B2, which is Stan's January sales. Then you want to select divide, which is the forward slash or the question mark on your keyboard. And now we want to select a second number. So we'll select C4, which is Julie's February sales. And now you can either click the little green icon here or enter. And that's divided Stan's January sales between Julie's February sales. As you can see, this isn't currently a currency. So what you'd want to do is highlight the cell, then come up to Format, Cell, and then select the Data Format drop down and select Currency. And that's how you divide two basic numbers. So let's quickly get rid of that. And now let's work out the profit per day. So to do that, you want to come into cell B10 and then press the equals key. This will bring up the function box again. Now I want to select the total sales of that month which is in B8. Now I want to press the divide key again, which is the forward slash or the question mark key. Now I want to select the number of days. So if you didn't have the number, what you wanted to divide it by within the spreadsheet like this, you could type the number you wish to divide by manually. And then you want to click the green tick or enter, and this will give you the average profit per day. Now you don't have to do that for each other cell in the spreadsheet. What you can do is you can hover over the box and this little yellow tab pops up. What you want to do is click it and hold and then drag the cell throughout the rest of the spreadsheet. This will duplicate the formula that you've just created, but taking it into the correct cells. Now, if you want to center this data, you can come up to Format, Text, and then press the center. So that is how to do Divide Formula on Apple Numbers. I hope you found that video helpful, and if you did, check out this playlist here, where we have many other Apple Numbers spreadsheet demonstrations, ranging from beginner to more advanced. Thank you for watching.